the deal, y'all? This your boy Motor City Neek, man, and I'm checking in with another video, man. I appreciate y'all for tapping in with your boy. Weather looking good today, so y'all already know what I'm about to do. Gotta get to working on my amp, man. I uh, got some tie rides and stuff I'm about to go ahead and do for the Impala. I'm trying to knock out as much things as I could do before I uh, get this car into the paint shop, man. So uh, the deadline kicking in on your boy, man. I need to hurry up and get to it man i gotta get it done i gotta get a lot of stuff cosmetically not cosmetically done but like a lot of little maintenance and tedious stuff done to my impala before i get in in the paint shop man i don't want to put the car in the paint shop and i still got to do like mechanical stuff or anything that's going to compromise the paint or scratch it up after i'm done so i'm trying to you know what i'm saying rush and do all i could do before I uh, put this vehicle in the paint shop in the next couple weeks, you know what I'm saying? So the countdown is going on, man, and it's getting there. I'm excited, you know, but um, I'm just about to show y'all, you know, what I got going on. I also might get to that too, man. I need to go ahead and get that dash taken out. So I might take the dash out my Apollo over there, man, and go ahead and redo that one and, and get it customized and put it back into this car. Um, as far as the imp, man, I gotta get the, I got my sound system in my, in the crib and stuff, but I gotta get all that stuff, um, together before I take the, my interior out and rerun new wires and go ahead and get that setting together. But, um, I'm about to get to it, man. I'm gonna show you the tie rods and stuff and what I gotta get going on. All right, y'all, nothing special in particular, man, but, uh, you know, this is what the tie rods look like. It's the outer, you know what I'm saying? The outer tie rods at the bottom. Uh, they go to the bottom of the control arm. But I'm about to put new ones on this one, man. Before I put my rims on, I ain't trying to have no issues with, you know what I'm saying? None of that stuff. I don't want my car shaking or none of that, you know? And plus, I never replaced it when I, uh, when I first did a lot of the maintenance on this vehicle, so. Go ahead and get that together um, and get busy on it, man. So I'm gonna check back y'all in a minute. I gotta take the tire and all that stuff off. All right, y'all. I got my baby jacked up. See, I'm working on the Impala. So I'm about to show y'all in case y'all ain't never did a tire ride before or none of that. Uh, the tire ride in, I'm about to replace. As you can see, it's that one right there. I'm about to take this one out. I'm about to replace that one. And put me a fresh brand new one in there. Cause just, just ain't got time for no. You see how easy that is? Like, I think that mud bad. Like I said, in my opinion, I think it's bad. Just, I'm trying to hold it still, but you know, you can see, look at that. Man, that shit. That mug loose. So, I'm gonna replace that one. The boot up there looks pretty good. Like, everything up there look pretty solid. So, uh, I ain't gonna tamper with that. I'm gonna leave that the way it is. But, I'm about to go ahead and replace that. So, take this nut off right here. Take the cotter pin out. Take that nut off. Get your sludge hammer. You don't want to hit this because you don't want to mess this up. You don't want to, you know what I'm saying, hit it from here. You want to hit it right here. So, because you're replacing this anyways. So, I'm going to hit it right here and that should drop it out. And then I got to measure this because I got to make sure my exact measurements are the same. So, I got to leave a little mark on here and measure it. So, that way when I put the new one in, I can put it in exactly at the same spot. You know what I'm saying? Until I get my wheels aligned. I don't want to throw the wheel alignment all the way off. So I'm going uh, to go ahead and do that. But just wanted to show y'all. So I got to do this side. And then I'm going to go over there and do the other side. And then, shit, I should be good though. All right, y'all. Just an FYI suggestion. Uh, while you're doing this, before you crack this one and take the this boot off with the uh kind of like the ball joint tie rod in before you do that make sure you loosen this locking nut because this locking nut actually stabilize where this is at so it doesn't move out of position but make sure you uh loosen this bolt first before you do this one so um just a fyi heads up you know what i'm saying this is a 13 millimeter so you just put one socket on this end and you put 
your 13 ratchet on that end and you just crank it till you loosen it um like i said i'm about to mark this one right here so that way i know exactly the distance and i'm gonna measure it because i want to make sure i put this one to the exact specifications of how this one is so it don't fully throw my alignment off till i take it to the shop and get it aligned i don't want to mess that up super bad i just want to make it simple so i'm gonna uh go ahead and mark that but fyi i just want to show y'all that all right y'all your boy back you see a little bit of pb blaster too so you know what i'm saying no promotion but Make sure you use a little PB Blaster. Help lose some of this shit up, man. Make it easier for that boot to get on out of there. See? Got it out there. Nice and out. So, time for me to go ahead and get the unscrew on that one. Do my measurements. Get that new one back in there. So, just want to show you all this. Yeah. Get you a nice little Thor hammer. A couple little taps. Even a little bit of one on there. Just like a little slight tap. Pop that bitch right out. All right, y'all. Got it out. See how loose that is, man? Look at that. Loose. When you get all that play and that wiggle in your wheel, look at that. You shouldn't be able to wiggle and move that mug like this. So, this will be considered bad. Look at that. It's easy. And I got one hand doing this. So you already know this mug ain't no good. It's out of whack. It's loose. So this is a sign, man. You know, mug ain't no good. So on to replace the new one. I'm about to do my measurements just to make sure it's exactly where it's supposed to be to the specification. So, you know, I'll show you how I do that. All right, y'all, just to fill y'all in on, you know, how I kind of get my measurements, you know what I'm saying, to get things pretty much close to exactly where they were. I, um, I actually, I turn them exactly to the side. And once I get them side by side, I take a ruler. And what I do is I actually, I measure the distance to make sure they equally equivalent and they're at the same length. And once I find the same length, I go exactly to the old one and I measure the old one. And when I once I get the measurement for the old setting and I mark it, I go to the new one and I do that exact same measurement. And I measure from the ends to where it was at because the threads is different on here, but the ends is the same. So. I measure from here to here to give me the same exact alignment for that one. So that way the wheel alignment is not like thrown all the way out of whack and things. So that's pretty much how I come up with that, man. But I, you know, take my time. I use the measurements and I measure and I count the threads and kind of make sure everything is the exact same just to get it close to, you know what I'm saying, exact measurement when I put it back in. All right, y'all, Motor C crew, you see it? There it go. That's where I marked it right there. So that way I knew my exact thread count, you know what I'm saying, to where it's supposed to fit in at. So I know exactly where it goes and where it starts and stop. Carter pin in there. Boot button in. Good to go. No moving, no flex. Nice and sturdy, so. There's one side done. Time to go to the next side. To give y'all guys an example of what I'm talking about, to you know, show y'all why I'm replacing these tie rods. Look at this. Look at that. See how loose that is? And I'm doing this with little to no effort. See? You see it's stiff back there. It's pretty stiff back there. But right here, look at that super loose that should be stiff so, uh, that's an example of why you know why i'm replacing it you know what i'm saying this it's wore out so just showing you you know example of, you know what i'm saying things to look at plus shoot this little wobble if i had the tire on here i could shake it left and right and you could see it was wiggling but just showing y'all that just a fyi tip for y'all 
can see right here. This is how I do my measurement marking right there. So I know it's hard to focus, but that's how I get my measurements. You know what I'm saying? So I measure from exactly where this line stop at. Where that stop at is where I measure my new tie rod in. So that way I get an accurate fitting how it used to be. So that's exactly what I'm doing and stuff. So I'm just uh, showing you that little tip too. Side two is done. I'm on the driver's side. Everything finished. Got it in there, buttoned down, tightened up. Carter pin in there. So, see how I, I can't move it. I ain't moving. It's nice and tight. So, that's what you want. But, uh, about to go ahead and get that tire back on and drive it for a little bit and stuff and see how it is. All right, y'all, Motor City crew, man. Your boy back. Uh, I'm in the Impala now, so, you know, I'm cruising around and riding it, man, and it ride pretty smooth, man. I did pretty good with my uh, with my alignment on it, you know. Um, it's not 100%, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's nice. It's, it rides smooth in the mug, but, of course, you know, I'm going to have to professionally take it somewhere for uh, somebody to do the correct, you know what I'm saying, proper alignment and stuff, but I'm in the it, man, and I'm riding good, and... Shoot, I ain't having no problems with it, man. There's no shaking, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? Shit, my steering wheel is, is real tight and solid. It ain't bouncing. It ain't wobbling. So, uh, I'm happy, man. Shit, you know? I can say this is a, a, a epic pass. You know what I'm saying? Not an epic fail, though. But, I mean, I did tie rides before. I did them on my Capri, so, um, you know. I ain't never had an issue with, you know, not being confident that I couldn't do it. So, um, I'm just happy, at, you know, I got it done. And this is one step and one uh, one thing off my checklist as far as a to-do list, you know, for things I need to do with my Impala. So, um, I'm happy about it, man. Everything is, is riding good. It's riding clean, smooth. It's tight. So, I'm happy about that. Um, you know, I don't have to worry about any anything else really you know what i'm saying uh next thing i'm about to work on is shoot start doing my um sound system for my interior so i'm gonna start taking off door panels and you know putting the new speakers in here and running new wires and uh you know heavy duty wiring throughout the throughout the car so that way you know my sound system is pretty much complete at least far as the wiring work you know what i'm saying i got the wires already ran so i'm not too much worried about you know doing little stuff in the trunk because you know i ain't that ain't that bad but i don't want to be leaning over the car or doing anything that's going you know what i'm saying scratch my whip up after i get it painted so. but you know this your first time checking your boy out be sure to hit that like comment subscribe man don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell too, man. So that way you keep up with your boy, you know? So you see when I post another video and things. So once again, man, I appreciate y'all for tapping in with your boy. Once again, it's your boy Motor City Neat, man. And I holla at y'all. Peace.